So the Apple Card has been released in the US and it's not available in Singapore as of yet, but let's take a look at what the Apple Card holds. The Apple Card is a partnership between Goldman Sachs and Apple. So apparently Apple has reinvented a credit card, but to me, a credit card is a credit card. Like how we got the CRO card, but it didn't turn out very well, but hopefully this new Apple Card might be a game changer. So if you take a look at the Apple side, Apple goes on to say that your information lives on your iPhone, which is true, but it also lives on other phones as well, like your Android phones. And they have advanced technology like Face ID, Touch ID, and Apple Pay, and give an enhanced level of privacy and security, and you get daily cash back when you spend or save with the Apple Card. So Apple being Apple has beautifully described what a credit card was, and what modern phones can do, and what a cashback function is. Okay, well, that explains basically nothing. But I think that the Apple Card is more than just a regular card because they have tied up with merchants that allows you to unlock more cashback. So if you look at the cashback cards that we have right now in our wallets, the cashback is usually 1.5% to maybe 1.8%. And because cashback is expensive and most companies earn fewer interchange fees with the hopes that people miss a bill so they can earn the late fees. But now let's talk about what I like about Apple Card and these are all based on speculation because I do not have the card yet. Since we don't have the Apple Card here in Singapore, everything here that we talk about is going to be based on what Apple tells us from their website. And why we don't have it here could be due to a various of reasons like banking or taxation reasons because the laws in Singapore and the laws in the US are very very different. So first off, we got the cashback. So the Apple Card boasts a 1-3% to cashback which is really high when you put it side by side with the cashback cards that we have. So if you shop at Apple Store, you buy apps, you buy Apple Music, you do Apple TV, you get a 3% daily cashback. And on top of that, if you shop at places like Exxon, um, Uber, Walgreens, T-Mobile, Uber Eats and Nike, you get extra 3% as well if you are using Apple Card with Apple Pay. For any other purchases, you get a 2% cashback if you pay with your Apple Card via Apple Pay. But if you use a physical card, it's only 1% cashback. And by the looks of it, the only people that will really benefit from the Apple Card are the current users that are already in the Apple system. And we all know that Apple is really expensive when it comes to hardware. It's not that expensive and once you enter its ecosystem, it's pretty hard to come out of it. So this could be one of the ways that Apple is trying to increase their market share by attracting users to move into the Apple system so they are able to enjoy higher interest rates on their money. So the Apple Card also boasts that you will not charge a late fee which is pretty amazing because most banks do charge a late fee if you forget to pay your bills. And the Apple Card seems to work seamlessly with your phone allowing you to see the amount of interest that you have to pay if you are making minimum balance payments per month or if you're only paying a portion of your credit. However, buried deep inside the TNCs at point number three, this is where you'll see that the APR or the annual percentage rate is a variable one from 15.74% to 26.74% based on your credit worthiness. Next, let's talk about Apple savings. So this is one that I'm really excited about because it boasts of 4.15% interest as a high yield savings account. So to get into Apple savings, there are a few conditions that needs to be met. So the first one being you must be the owner or the co-owner of Apple Card. The second one is adding Apple Card to your phone, be a minimum age of 18 years old, and you are a citizen of the US with a valid home address, and having the latest version of iOS, which means that your hardware devices have to be up to date to reach the 4.15% interest. None of them are up to date. So one of the cool things about the Apple Card is that when you get a cashback from your credit card spending, you can then opt in to get it push into your Apple Cash Card where you can spend it as usual or it can get routed into the high yield savings account, Apple Savings. So now the big question here is, is the Apple Card worth it? So there are two parts to this question, the good side and the bad side. So let's say if you're already an Apple user like me, the Apple Card can be seen worth signing up for because chances are you're already in the Apple ecosystem and changing operating system is not something that everyone is willing to do so. Coupled with the possibility of you purchasing ads from the App Store, paying with Apple Pay, which I do all the time, earning a sweet cashback if you do pay with Apple Pay. And I have the option in the future to move my cashback into the high yield savings account, which is something very attractive. But if you're on Google or you're an Android user, then this card might not be something very attractive because you only get 1% cashback by using the physical card. And the bad side of this is the lack of welcome bonus or welcome gifts. So if you look at major credit cards right now, for even the US one like Chase for example, they give you a $200 bonus by spending $500 in your first 3 months which is pretty amazing in my books if you are spending $500 for things that you need and not things that you want. So even in our local context like in Singapore, we do get welcome gifts for users who are new to the bank. So for example, you can get things like a Dyson hairdryer, you can get AirPods Pro, 
you get cash after spend and much more. So this is a very short video about Apple Card because we don't have much details yet. Um, but if you do have some information about a card and if you're in the US using a card, do let me know in the comments down below. And let me know when you sign up for the Apple Card, will you not? Do you like it? Do you not like it at all? So this brings us to the end of today's video. If you haven't, do drop us a like, subscribe, stay notified. And as always, stay safe, invest safe, and I'll see you in the next one.